everything. And, and you have to agree, right? You, then you come into agreement. Yes, Lord. And, and it settles you. It settles you. Because mm-hmm. God says, if, if, you're, if you know how to give good gifts to your children, if your children ask you for a, a, a piece of fish, you will not give them snake. If they ask you for bread, you wouldn't give them stone or a piece of rock or something. Mm-hmm. So he said, if you know how to give good gifts, how about me? Right? I'm going to give you way more. And so that settles you as well. Like God sees me and he will give me my portion. He'll take care of me. Yes. He'll take care of me. Mm. And God likes the rejects, those society look down upon. Right? So you have like Gideon. He said, my clan is the weakest. My, my tribe is the least. And God said, you're the one I want. That's, that's it. I'm looking for the weakest. <laughs> I'm looking for the least because when you're weak, that's what I'm strong and you will be so humble. You will let me take over and do what I need to do through you. I'm not looking for those who have arrived. And, ooh, no. And God <laughs> blessed Gideon with only 300 soldiers. God is looking for the rejects. David hung out with the rejects. Those who had financial issues, those who nobody wanted to deal with. And God made an army out of them. David and his men, yes. The woman mm. who used to have an issue of blood. Jesus blessed her, right? She touched him of the garment and the reject. She's a reject. She can't be around nobody. She has a blood issue. You are mm. contaminated. And that's who God used. God, God, God healed her. And her story is in the Bible for everybody to read it. Mm. Thousands of years later. He chose fishermen. Who were rough around the edges, Angela. That's who, that's who God called. He didn't call the doc, the, the fancy doctors and lawyers and all that stuff. Yes, Luke, mm-hmm. Luke um, was a doctor, whatever. But they were fish, the people that, most of them were fishermen. Mm-hmm. They were cussing. They, they were right. <laughs> Listen, they were. Money, you know. <laughs> they, they were kind of rough around the edges. That's who God called. God mm-hmm. called those people and transformed their lives. Mm. so I say yes Lord to your will and yes to your way in the name of Jesus and he's calling and he has called us Mm -hmm. those who people look down probably look down upon or maybe people look up to you you know so it's different but if people looking down at you God said come on if you've lost everything God said come on he said I restore the years the palm of worms ate up in your life and so Heavenly Father we thank you for this wonderful time to fellowship you want you wanted us to just fellowship just now and so we did that and so father god i thank you for the next part of this fellowship that we're gonna have oh god you said iron sharpens iron and so lord we come right now three of us father god and those who watch this on the on the replay father i I just thank you that we're together you said wherever two or three are gathered in your name (laughs) three two or three (laughs) gather in your name touching and agreeing all of heaven is there the thousands upon thousands of angels. Jesus is here. You are here. Your Holy Spirit is on the inside of us. Father God, I thank you that heaven is here with us right now. And so Lord, we ask that you please forgive us of all of our sins. Father, wash us, cleanse us with the blood of Jesus. Father, we put on the whole armor that belongs to you, your fiery armor. Father, I thank you that you are consuming fire. So we are always on fire for you. We're always, we always have the fire in our bones because your word is fire in our bones. Everything about you is fire. And so we thank you, oh God, that you you have set us ablaze with your spirit. And so we have on the whole armor. And Father, I thank you that we're at your throne of grace and mercy, worshiping you, barocking you, Father God. And we are receiving help in the time of need. Father, I cover us as we're getting ready to eat father your word i pray to god that you will help us to understand the word of god and to apply it i pray to god that you will help us to understand shalom peace what does that look like i pray father god that you would just help us to have order in our lives we read about rebecca and isaac jacob and esau and there was a need there was a need rebecca was barren and isaac prayed for her and you answered and so, Father God, whenever we have a need, we can come to you and talk about it to you, Father, and you will, you will meet that need. 
And so Father God, and then when Rebecca had an issue in her body when she was pregnant with twins, because you answer by giving by giving them a double portion, her babies were like wrestling and, and tossing inside. And you gave her the prophetic word, Father, that the younger one would, would be the leader. But Father, we saw that from that prophecy that they, they just allowed their flesh to just go out of control. And there was division in the family. There was discord. And so, Father God, I pray that you will help us when we receive a prophetic word, help us to not touch the word, help us to just obey you by doing right, walking in the fruit of the spirit and not try to manipulate, Father God. Help us to humble ourselves and to be obedient to you, Father God. They, they, they made things worse by having favorites. Father, you said there's no favoritism in you. And so please forgive us if, if, if at any time we have shown favoritism, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father God, I pray that today you would just open up blessed doors for us. Father, you, you see what we stand in need of, what Erica is standing in need of. Father God, you see what Angela is standing in need of, the body of Christ, my family. And so I pray, Father God, that you would meet those needs according to your will. Father, there's nothing too hard for you. You answered Isaac. He interceded for somebody else. He prayed for his wife and you answered. And so, Father God, I thank you that we can intercede for other people and you will answer by fire because the God who answers by fire, he is God. And so, Lord, we come to Mount Carmel today, oh God, and we, we slaughter anything that's not of you, Father God, any wickedness, any mammon, poverty, debt, lack, infirmity, sickness, disease, depression, oppression, um, um, Father God, perverseness, like being perverted, Father God, lust, dumb and deaf spirits, bondage, antichrist, death and destruction, witchcraft, Father God, pride, we bind them, cast them out into the abyss. But Father, we gather the 12 stones of your word, your government, your authority, your power, and we rebuild the altar today, right now, Father God. We rebuild your altar of prayer, Father, in our hearts. And, and Father, we place ourselves on the altar right now offering up our bodies as a living sacrifice unto you, holy and acceptable and pleasing in your sight. Father, that's our reasonable act of worship according to Romans 12. And so Father, I thank you for the number 12. We're part of your government, your kingdom. And we have the keys of that kingdom, oh God. And so Father God, after, after you answered Elijah by, by fire and he assassinated those, those wicked prophets, fake prophets of Baal, Father God, I thank you that you sent the rain and Angela was saying that she felt dry, oh, Father, and she felt like that, 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 that the fire or whatever wasn't as strong. But Father, I thank you that, that she's experiencing First Kings, I believe it's eight, chapter 18, Father God. She's experiencing your fire and your water that's coming from heaven, Father God. We hear the sound of abundance of rain for all of us who have been dry in certain areas, Father God. We've been dry and, and, and we, we, don't, we don't have anybody to talk to about it, Father God, but we've been feeling dry or feeling like we, we're not on fire like we used to be, Father God. But Lord, I thank you that we, we have your fire, oh God. We don't need our own fire. Father, you are the fire. And so, Father God, you're always on fire. So, therefore, we're always on fire because we're in you, Father God. Because if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, everything is new. And so, Father, God, I thank you that your fire is in us, oh God. Father, I thank you, oh God, that when we speak, we're speaking with tongues of fire, Father. That purple tongue from the giraffe. We're eating the best food from the top, Father God, because we're eating from heaven's food, oh God. God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, oh God, that, that when we're talking to people today, we're speaking with, with the fiery words of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, healing, Father, and power. In the name of Jesus, we speak, Father God, those things that be not as though they were, because we're speaking your word, Father God. You live inside of us. And so when we speak, we're speaking, oh God, from that place of the Holy Spirit, Father God. I thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, everything about God is a fight about fire. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our feet path. Your, your word is fire in our bones. You spoke to Moses through the fiery burning bushes. So Lord, I thank you, oh God, that we're on fire for you as well. Tongues of fire came down on Pentecost, Lord. You are God of the fire. You are God of the fire and your fire is inside of us, purifying us, oh God, teaching us we are blazing. We are glowing with you, oh God. Every area of our lives right now, catch fire. We catch fire that never destroys us. The Moses didn't understand why the burning bush was not burning down because it's the glory. And we have the glory of the Lord in our marriages, on our children, our spouses, upon our businesses, our, 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 our ministries, our finances. Father God, we have your fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, fire that does not destroy, only destroy the wickedness, oh God. 
And so, Father God, release your fire to burn up the plantation of fear. Father God, release your fire and burn up the plantation of godlessness. Father God, burn up the plantation of sorrow and depression and oppression. Burn up the plantation, uproot all of that, Lord, and burn them down. The disappointment, the depression, the suicidal thoughts, the, fee, the impatience and anxiety, the worrying, the lack, the poverty, the debt, the sicknesses, the disease, the infirmities, Father God, burn them down. The rebellion, the stubbornness, disobedience, the, the, the lack of ambition in our children, the worldliness, the lust, the perversion, burn it down, Father God. The deception, the, the, the thirst for, 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 for love, that, that insecurity, that, that low self-esteem, Father God, all of this is wickedness. Father, we, we, we burn them down. We crucify our flesh, oh God, and we release the Holy Ghost upon us upon our household, upon our sons and daughters, upon our spouses, upon our relatives. Father God, save those who were not saved. Father, release love upon us. Release salvation, Father God. Deliverance, holiness, Father God. Release truth upon us, Father God. We burn up the injustice and we release your justice, Father God. Father, we're asking, oh God, that you, you will help us to recover it all. When, when, when David was at Ziglag, Father, and everything was burnt down, he inquired of the Lord the same way Isaac inquired of the Lord on behalf of his wife. Father God, we inquire at your temple right now, at your tabernacle, Father, at the throne of grace and mercy. And Lord, you told them to pursue. And so we pursue you, Father God. We pursue the things you've given to us through the blood of Jesus. And we recover it all. We discover, rediscover, and recover it all, Father God. And we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. We soak ourselves with the blood. We soak, Father, our families with the blood. We soak our possessions with the blood. We soak this day with the blood. We soak out of space, Father God, beneath the earth, above the water, everywhere, Father, the seven continents, the five oceans. We soak them with the water of your, Father, we soak them in the blood of Jesus, Father, and wash them with the water of your word, Father God. Father, we release your fire upon the seven continents father god we shake out the wickedness from the four corners of the earth and we burn up every plot plan schemes of the enemy no weapon formed against us will prosper and every tongue that rises up against us in judgment we have a right to condemn father god we speak your word oh god that you're restoring father god that you're renewing replanting us transplanting us oh god you're making all things right and new for us oh god we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness lord and all that we need abba is added unto us father God, we press in like the woman who used to have an issue of blood and we touch the hem of your garment right now. And Father, power is released. The power, oh God, to do what's right. The power to fast, oh God. The power to live out your word. The power to read the Bible. The power to be consistent. The power to, per to be persistent like the persistent widow. Father, we have power, oh God, to walk in wisdom, oh God. The power to be strong in the Lord, in the power of your might. The power, Father God, to go out there and do what you say. The power to be obedient. And Father, the power to love, Father, the power in the name of Jesus. We have your power on the inside, the same power, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives inside of us, oh God, and I speak resurrection upon us right now. Father, resurrect our blessings in the name of Jesus. Father, res resurrect our families. Uh, Father God, the children, set them on fire for you again. We raise them to serve you, Father, and now they're going all different ways. We're asking that you would draw them back to you, Father. Set them ablaze with your spirit. We're asking that you would deliver the prodigals right now, that you will save them, that you will heal them, oh God. The, the husbands who are out there, the wives who are out there. Father God, begin to speak to them and, and draw them back home. Send your angels to help them, to deliver them, oh God. Father, send the great fish to swallow them and, and, and to minister to them, Father God, and to bring them back home. Father, I thank you, oh God, that those who are in the tombs of, of, of addiction and fornication and adultery and, 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 and robbery or whatever, Father God, false, false God and witchcraft, whatever they entangle themselves into, Father God, fornication, sexual perversion, whatever 
it is, what, whatever tombs they're in, poverty, whatever tombs they're in, Father God, of, of, of depression and suicidal thoughts, lesbianism, homosexuality, whatever it is, the tombs, whatever the tombs are, the backwardness, the shame, the unforgiveness, the bitterness, Father God. Father, we thank you for deliverance taking place right now in the name of Jesus, the same way, Father, in Mark 5, I believe it is, that, that Jesus spoke to the man who had legions of demons, and that man was delivered. He was no longer insane. He was no longer, Father God, in his, in his, in his, out of his mind. He was no longer crazy, Father. He was fully dressed, Father God, and, and fully sane, perfectly sane. And so, Lord, I thank you that you're delivering our loved ones the same way. And those we're praying for, they're no longer in the tombs, but they're living with you, Father God. You're saving them. Father, salvation is at their houses now, oh God. You're showing them a way of escape, oh God. Your prison doors are open, oh God, and they hunger and thirst after righteousness. You're saving everybody attached to us. Everybody who comes into contact with us, like Angela was saying, Father God, Father, the fire from you that's on us is going to go under the shadow. They're going to be healed just by being in our presence, oh God, because we carry you. We carry your fire, oh God. We carry your anointing, oh God. We have your angels who are in camp all around us. Heaven is in camp all around us, oh God. And so today we walk up right before you, knowing who we are, Lord, that wherever we go, we bring healing. We bring love. We bring joy. We bring shalom, peace, wholeness, wellness, harmony, tranquility. Father God, we bring you. We bring wealth and health. We are wealthy and healthy, oh God. And this is the day that you have made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it as we go forth carrying the wealth, carrying the health, and telling people about the good news. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him will never perish, but have eternal life, oh God. Father God, raise up the evangelism spirit in us. Help us to evangelize today. Help us to evangelize today. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the, in the name of Jesus, help us to open up our mouths and to talk about you to somebody in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for yesterday as I was going about just rejoicing that you will supply all of our needs. I saw a car and it said Taj again. The same name keeps on coming up, T-A-J, which means crown. Uh, uh, and and, and, and that's, that's the same name that came here with the people's um, contact lens. And it's the same thing I was teaching my students about the Taj Mahal. And so Lord, I thank you that you're giving us a beautiful crown for our ashes and that we are a royal priesthood and we're going to go tell other people we're going to tell them the gospel the good news and tell them that god wants to put a crown on their heads that we are royalty we are sons and daughters of the most high god and today we're going to fix our crowns and father we're going to know who we are and who we belong to and we're not going to be discouraged we're going to lift our heads up because we can't wear a crown with your head down and so, Father, I thank you that you are the lifter up of our heads and you've placed a crown on our heads. Father God, we belong to you. And I thank you, oh God, that you will not disappoint us. You will not, we, Father, we speak turn around this morning. Turn around. Everything must come back full circle and bow at your word, Father God. At the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that he is Lord. And so we put the crown of righteousness upon our families, Lord. And we live for you with, 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 with our minds renewed. Father God, we have, we have that crown of righteousness and love upon our heads. That crown of victory because we always triumph in Christ. We have the crown of healing because by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. We have the, the crown of marital success because those who have joined together, let nobody put asunder and the two shall become one flesh. In the name of Jesus, we put, we put the crown of shalom, peace on our heads. There will be no more division. There, was be, there will be no more lack. We put the crown on our heads that have the stones in there, the, the diamonds, the rubies, the sapphire, Father, the pearls and, 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 and emerald, all the beautiful stones because we obey you, Father God. We have a royal garment, the purple robe of salvation. We're clothed properly. We are your sons and daughters and we lack nothing. Anything that's been held up, any held up blessings, Father God, we break through right now and we take them, Father God. We use the keys and we open up the doors and get our blessings, oh 
oh God, in the name of Jesus, those who have been stuck and, and going around in a circle and, and the enemy been blocking our blessings and having us feeling lost, we're lost no more. We break through. There's no more backwardness and shame. No more being lost and confused. The path is clear. Jesus Christ is the way. And we go down the path of righteousness and we get all that we need today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I speak breakthrough upon all of us today in the name of Jesus. We're no longer lost, no longer stuck. The strongholds are gone. The strong men are bound and cast out. We're delivered today. We're set free in the name of Jesus. We're in our right minds with our crowns, having crowns on our heads. We're clothed properly, no longer naked, no longer exposed, no longer ashamed. Father, I thank you that we're properly, fully, completely dressed, oh God, with all of you, all of your love, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We have on the garment of praise. It's our jubilee. We decree, we declare, no matter what we're going through, we may endure for night, but joy comes in the morning. Father, your spirit is a spirit of joy. And so we're clothed, oh God, with a with the garment of praise. You have turned our morning into dancing, Father God. And so we put on our crowns, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And then we cast our crowns at your feet. In the name of Jesus. Father God, like the 24 elders in heaven, we cast our golden crowns, oh God, before you at your feet, Lord. We surrender all, Father God. We release humility upon us now. We humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. And in due season, Father God, you will exalt us even though we are royal children, even though we have on the garment of praise, even though we have on the robe of salvation, even though we have the crown on our heads, we bow down, Father God. We barack you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because we've been blessed by you and we're most highly favored, oh God. Your face is upon us. Your face is upon us. Your face is upon us. You're delivering our children. You're delivering our children. You're delivering our children. You're delivering our children. Your face is upon us. You're delivering our spouses. You're delivering, oh God, you're baptizing them with the Holy Ghost, fire, and Father with water. You're baptizing our households. You're turning things around. We speak reversal in the name of Jesus. We speak turnaround. The whole household is saved. We speak the Cornelius blessings, the Cornelius deliverance in the name of Jesus. Where there was barrenness, there's no more barrenness. We are fruitful in the Lord and we multiply in the name of Jesus. We have our double portion. It's our season of double portion. It's our season of the double portion. Double portion, come forth now. Come forth now. Come forth now in the name of Jesus. For all the prodigals out there, for all the people who are not turning to God, you've been doing your own thing. God is delivering you today. God is delivering you today. God is delivering you today. You are lost no more. The angels of God are coming for you now. They're delivering you today. Breakthrough. Lord, I thank you that the bondage is broken. It's broken. It's burnt up. Those who've been trapped in the prisons, God is setting you free from that addiction, from those evil soul ties, from those evil covenants. Christ died for you to be free. You are free in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I call you forth. Hear the voice of God. Hear the voice of God. Effort to your ears. Effort to your ears. This is the way walk in it. Hear the Lord say it. This is the way to go. This is the way to go. This is the way walk in it. This is the way walk in it. Walk out of bondage. Walk out of bondage. Run from the burning house of sin in the name of Jesus. I'm calling for my Joseph. I'm calling for my Joseph. I'm calling for my Joseph. Leave part of his house alone. Leave it now. Leave it now. Leave the place where the lust is. Leave it now. Put out Hagar and Israel. Put them out now. Put them out. Put them out. Put out the perversion. Put out the confusion. And come to me. Come to me. Come to me. I'm washing you. Dip, dip, dip seven times in my word. Dip seven times in the water of my word. Dip seven times in the water of my word. Dip seven times in the water of my word. You are being made clean. I'm washing off every spiritual leprosy off of you in the name of Jesus because I promise that the sanctified spouse make the whole house holy even the children they are holy holiness is reigning in our homes holiness is reigning in our homes yes Lord breakthrough 
The way has been opened this is the way walk in it see the light open your eyes see the light Every witchcraft, I pulverize the walls of witchcraft that's been trapping your spouse, trapping your family. Yeah, break through now, they break through now, they break through I beat you down. Every wicked wall, every Jericho wall, be pulverized, be pulverized. The captives are set free today in the in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, I thank you. We speak to the valley of dry bones. Come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. Those dead children. Come, oh, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. Come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. Come alive, come alive. The husbands, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. Come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. In the name of Jesus. The wives, the wives, the wives, the wives. Resurrection, 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 resurrection. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the whole family is mounting up on wings as eagles. The whole family is mounting up, mounting up, mounting up, mounting up on wings as eagles. In the name of Jesus, we're running for God together in shalom, peace, and we're not weary. We walk and we're not faint. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I thank you for opening up the floodgates of heaven. They stay open. They're open, 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 and what you open, nobody can shut those windows of heaven. The floodgates of heaven are open up. Father God, you said when we pay our tithes that you will keep them open and you will pour out so much blessings upon us that we will not have room enough to receive all the blessings. And so Lord, we stand beneath the open heavens and whatever we stand in need of. Oh God, you're doing it now. You're meeting the needs. Oh God, I speak acceleration. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Acceleration right now in the name of Jesus. Acceleration in the name of Jesus. Acceleration right now in the name of Jesus. We go forth, we advance, we go forth we advance in the name of Jesus no longer going around in a circle 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 we go forth we're making progress we're making progress we're bearing much fruit we're no longer just leafy but father God we have your fruit of righteousness we have your pomegranate bells oh God the bells and the pomegranate father we have fruitfulness father God the whole household is rejoicing and serving you the whole household up there praying father and fasting the whole household is bearing much fruit the whole household is serving the king of kings and lord of lords everybody has their own relationship with you their gifts are stirred up and they're serving in your kingdom in the name of jesus lord i thank you for the releasing of pentecost tongues of fire is upon every member of our household and those who are attached to us oh god we walk with your fire oh god we are your elijah's we are your john the baptist we are your paul and silas we are your peter father we are your James and John. Father God, wherever we go, there is a miracle taking place. We're saying, Talita Kum, Talita Kum, Talita Kum. Arise, families. Arise, families, and serve the Lord. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And I cover this prayer with the blood. I cover this prayer time, Father, this Bible Academy session, oh God, with the blood of Jesus.
Jesus. I cover this day with the blood. Every minute, every second of the day, I cover with the blood. This is the day that we're going to see breakthrough, Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, because we were obedient to you, like the like, like the widow with her son at Zarephath, and we gave you our little bit. You said we would never run dry. We will never run dry. We will never run dry. She fed the prophet. And, 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 and her family and her ate all the way through the famine and drought. And then father, her son died and you, you resurrected her son. There, there will be no debt for those who serve the Lord. I'm talking about, we're not gonna die spiritually. We're not gonna die financially. We're not gonna die maritally. We're not gonna die parental. No, our kids were not gonna die. Father, we will not die, but live to declare the works of the living God. When we obey you, we thrive. When we obey you, we flourish. We get that shalom prosperity. And we've been serving you, Father God. And you're coming to see about us. You're coming to see about us. You're coming to see about us. And you say, Talita kum. Talita Talita kum, Talita kum, you're restoring us, oh God. The thief has been caught and he must give us back seven times what he has stolen from us. We are rejoicing because our God is on time. You're coming, there's no more barrenness. We are fruitful, oh God, exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ever ask or imagine in the name of Jesus, according to the power that's on the inside of us. Now unto him who's able to do, our God is able to do, our God is able to do, and he shall do it exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ever ask or imagine above above all that we can ever ask or imagine above all that we can ever ask or imagine because we are above only and never beneath we are above only and never beneath we are above only we are seated together in every place with christ jesus we are above only and never beneath all our problems are beneath our feet we trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the devil and nothing shall by any means hurt us in the name of Jesus. We leap, 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 leap. We leap, leap, leap in victory. We leap, leap, leap in turnaround. We leap, leap, leap with new testimonies. We overcome the devil by the words of our testimony and by the blood of the lamb. We are getting ready to testify of what God done, what God did, what God did, what God did. We testify in the name of Jesus by the blood, the blood, the blood that our God made a way out of no way, that our God saved and delivered in the name of Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. And this prayer is covered in the blood, covered in the blood, covered in the blood. And there will be no backlash. There will be no backlash or retaliation because greater is he who lives inside of us in the name of Jesus than the devil in the world. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your holy name in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Oh, on June 21st, the first day of summer, it's our first, it's our new beginning. Oh, the first, the first, the first, we are the first, we are the head, who and not the tail. Lord, I thank you that harvest is here. Our breakthrough is here on day 571. Lord, I thank you, revival to the nations, revival in our bodies, whatever that was in us that was not of you, Father God, is burnt up, Father God, I thank you that healing is flowing through us, healing, Healing, shalom, peace, healing is flowing through us. Father God, we have new hearts. Thank you for the heart transplant that came from you, the, the mind transplant, Father God. Anything that we need, oh God, on the inside, new body parts. New body parts, Father God, give it to us, Father God, today in, we have the faith to receive it. Father God, you have all permission, Father, to heal our bodies physically and spiritually, Father God, do a new thing. It's the first day of, of, of summer. Father God, do the new thing, oh God, make us over again, Father God. Give us new eyes to see, new ears, new joints, bones, muscle, blood, everything, Father God, do surgery upon us right now. We touch and agree with your word that by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed in the name name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Woo, Lord, I thank you. Woo, the healing in the New Testament. The, the people who couldn't walk or couldn't see. The miracle was a home transplant from heaven. Father, I thank you. Even when we come to you, we get a whole new life transplant. <laughs> we get a whole new life transplant, Lord, I thank you. They had no doctors. But Father, you are our doctor. And people who couldn't walk were able to walk. They got that miraculous transplant. Lord, we thank you for the miraculous transplant that's taking place, Lord. Today, whatever it is, 
Lord, show us the, the evidence of this prayer. Father, show us the manifestation, whatever lumps in the body. Let it dry up, Father. We ask the miraculous transplant. Whatever, even skin issues, hair issues. Father God, transplant. Ooh! The money situation. Father God, transplant our finances. Transplant our finances. And give us the testimony to come back, Father God, and testify that you did it. That you did it. That you did it. Father God, people need help financially. And we're not going to pray around it. We're going to tell the truth. And so we're asking for the shalom financial transplant. Nothing is missing wholeness. We're asking for the wealth transfer, Father God, that you will cause it because we are serving you and we're going to keep on fasting and praying that our accounts will never run dry. The woman cupboard didn't run dry because that's where she, she, she to her blessing was in that. She ate the food from the cupboard. But Father, now that we're in 2020, 22, 2022, Father God, whatever we're using to take care of our families, may those things never run dry. The financial accounts, our refrigerator, cupboards, Father, the ministry, let souls upon souls upon souls be saved all the time, Lord. We're asking, oh God, that overflow for every account and everything that we're doing, may there be fruitfulness, be fruitful, Father, you said be fruitful and multiply. And so I thank you, oh God, that financial debts are canceled. We touch and agree with your word, Father God. We don't have to borrow anymore. We are the owner. New houses, we speak. And this is the time, Father God, to, to do the switch. Those who've lost houses and lost money, lost resources, we're asking, oh God, that you restore time seven because the thief has been caught. And Father God, give us the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding to be able to manage what you're getting ready to give to us. Help us to be good stewards in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your holy name. And so we have on the whole armor, the strongholds are gone and we stand still and we see your deliverance, Father God. And we